Yo, what's good, YouTube, man? It's Gabriel, Jalen Fan TV, man. Back at you another video. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe on all the videos. Let's get right into it, man. So, look, man, it doesn't look like the Ravens are done adding uh, players at the wide receiver position, and nor should they be, right? Uh, the goal was to revamp the wide receiver room during this offseason, and the Ravens have made strides to try and do that. Now, obviously, I wasn't the biggest fan of signing us to Aguilar, but that was a move. Um, obviously, signing Odell Beckham, big time move, all right, as far as, far as money invested, okay? Uh, but look, the Ravens might not be done, all right? So, Zay Flowers, uh, one of the top wide receivers in this year's draft class, um, is visiting the Baltimore Ravens on, one, on a top 30 visit. Um, they've also had visits, I believe, with Jordan Addison, Quentin Johnston. So, the Ravens are doing their due diligence, due diligence excuse me, on all the top wide receiver pro uh, prospects in this year's draft. So, with that being said, the Ravens are still looking to add guys to this room. Now, the question is, will it just be draft? Will it be free agency? Or can it be a trade, possibly, right? Now, in my opinion, I think trade it might, at this point, is the least likely option just because if we listen to Eric DaCosta talk throughout this draft season, it's been about adding draft picks and not losing draft picks. So, if the Ravens were to make a trade involving draft picks, in my opinion, to be something like trading down from the first round, uh, to a later pick maybe in the first round adding maybe a second or a third round pick maybe another fourth round pick if possible right something like that um but we got to bring it up because obviously you know there was last week where darius slay said there's another wide receiver on the way he didn't want to give up any information kind of kept doing the hush and a lot of ravens fans mind went to deandre hopkins of course right who has been um a trade target for multiple teams you know patriots chiefs uh ravens in the mix um you know, a lot of teams that want to add a superstar caliber kind of receiver. And yes, he is, I believe, 30, 31 years old, but he still was playing at a high level last season. Right. So um, Hopkins uh, trading for him, I think, is is um, unlikely for the Ravens. But there has been rumors about uh, DeAndre Hopkins possibly being cut. Now, if he was somebody to be cut, um, I can see the Ravens being all over that. Because just uh, yesterday, I believe, Hopkins put out that tweet about, how he doesn't want to pay raise, right? He's pretty, and he was quoting himself pretty much, right? So if he doesn't want to pay raise and say a team doesn't want to trade for a salary and a car will say, look, we don't want to get nothing for him. We're just going to release the guy. Um, that means that he might be willing to take less money to be on a championship caliber team. And if the Ravens were to get a guy like DeAndre Hopkins and still have Odell and Rashad Bateman here, they would be a championship caliber team for sure, right? Um, it's also interesting because of the news report that, you know, Lamar Jackson has been demanding uh, more wide receivers. And I look at this a couple ways, right? The first way is I think that's a good thing, right? Because it's a negotiation tactic. So if he's doing something to negotiate with the Ravens, that's always a good sign, right? Say, hey, you get me this, this, that will help in our negotiations. To me, that's a good sign because that means that he's willing to participate in negotiations, which is something that the media has said he hasn't been willing to do, right? Um also, I mean, it'd be great for the team just in general. So uh, if the Ravens can make it happen somehow to get both of these guys, uh, Hopkins and, and Odell, that will be quite interesting. That would be the most aggressive the Ravens have ever been in franchise history at wide receiver. And it will set them up at least for the next season to have uh, a really, really potent wide receiver core, which is something that it feels weird to even say about the Baltimore Ravens, right? Um now, if it's not DeAndre Hopkins, right, um, I think a guy that uh, a Darius Slate could be referring to is somebody I brought up before, somebody like Jarvis Landry, right? Not the most exciting, sexy option, no, but he, obviously he's best friends with Odell. They teamed up before in Cleveland, um, and also the fact that he fits a, he fits a Ravens kind of mold, right? 30-plus. Um, uh, he probably won't be that expensive like Odell was, honestly. He probably won't be that expensive. Um, tough, physical, wants to prove something, right? The Ravens are always looking for guys, especially the wide receiver position, that want to prove something, right? Hey, they feel like they've been doubted, so let me go here and see if I can prove that I still got it, right? Now, for better or for worse, um, there's been a good example of that working for the Ravens. There's been bad examples of that going against the Ravens, right? So, I like Jarvis Landry. Um, I wouldn't be opposed to it. You know, I, I think that he is a solid veteran, okay? But if I had to give my opinion about what I think is the most likely or what I would want to happen, um, I'm kind of looking at the draft, if I'm being quite honest. Um, now, listen, if DeAndre Hawkins gets cut, 
and it's made available that way and the Ravens can get a deal for him done, I'm all for it. I have not, I have no problems with that. I have nothing against that. I just don't see the Ravens trading draft capital away to get DeAndre Hopkins. That's my thing, right? Um, just, is, just because, like I said, Eric DeCosta has been multiple times saying that I want to add picks. You know, we only got five draft picks. That's not unusual for us. You know, he almost sounds like a guy who feels like he's going into the draft un undermanned. You know, like he doesn't have enough firepower to really do what he wants to do, right? This is the same guy who had all had 11 draft picks last year, took 11 players, all right? So, of course, he's going to want some more draft picks. I mean, we just got to be completely honest about that. So, when I look at the draft in the first round for the Ravens, um, the guy that they had visiting, uh, Zay Flowers, is a guy that really intrigues me because if you were to have a Zay Flowers, Odell, and Rashad Bateman, that would give you three guys with inside-outside versatility who can work anywhere uh, on, on the field. And also, Zay Flowers has something that the Ravens don't currently have, right? A guy that can make five into 40, you know what I'm saying? Now, listen, we saw Rashad Bateman take that slant route uh, versus the Dolphins and go, you know, what was 75, 80 yards, and that was great. Uh, I saw him out running out like Xavier Howard. I like that. Um, he can, I think Rashad Bateman has the ability to make, like, the first guy miss, right? So, I, I you know, I'm not going to take anything from him on that aspect. But Zay Flowers is the kind of guy who can make two, three guys miss, Um take that drag route, make it 20, 25 yards, and now it's a it's a big play. So the Ravens haven't had that kind of guy in, in quite a while, honestly. Uh, I, I can't remember the, the last shift you received, maybe like a Jacoby Jones, maybe somebody like that. Um, but, yeah, so he will be the guy that I'm looking at. Um, I think, to me, he is my, my favorite wide receiver in this draft and the most realistic one because a guy like, say, Jackson Smith and Jigba, right? Um, I think his stock is only rising. I mean, I think he's going to be gone well before the Ravens have a chance to pick at uh, 22. So, while I would love to have JSN on the team, I just don't feel as though that's a likely option. I don't. Um, I like Jordan Addison. Uh, Quentin Johnston, I'm, I'm, uh, I'm iffy on. I'm not a super big fan of guys like that where you got to teach them not to body cap so much because that comes with issues. So, um, he's not Brashad Perryman, but... Just being a Ravens fan and seeing Quentin Johnston, it gives me that Rashad Perryman kind of vibe. And that's maybe that's probably not fair to him. Um, probably not fair to him at all, but that's just the kind of vibe I get off of that. So, um, but yeah, I think Zay Flowers would be a great addition um, through the draft. But obviously, option number one is that if the Ravens can, if DeAndre Hawkins is some somehow, some reason cut by the Arizona Cardinals, the Ravens have to be making a play for him, right? Like I said, now, the report was out there about Lamar Jackson demanding um, Odell and Hopkins, and then I'll come to the table and we can talk, right? Um, the Ravens did their first part of that. They got Odell back out there. So um, if they get Hopkins too, man, it's going to be very, very scary next season because, um, like Lamar said, he wants to win Super Bowl, right? So if they get Hopkins and Odell, I think he comes back. Now, maybe right or wrong, maybe that's probably not the best decision for him personally. Uh, I think the Ravens need to do a lot to bump up that number. Because thirty-two million is far too cheap for what he should be making, um, but you know, if he's looking at that roster and say, "Hey, look, we got this guy, that guy out there. These are the kind of guys I want on my team." So, yeah, maybe I do come back, right? Um, but that's another story for another day. Uh, so, look, man, uh, for the Ravens, it looks like they're de uh, in uh, intent on adding another wide receiver, steadfast in that kind of mission, and I would say for the first time, I'm actually proud of how they're attacking the wide receiver room. They're not just saying that we're going to get guys off the scrap heap who, you know, can maybe get two, three hundred yards, maybe four hundred yards if it's a good year. We're getting guys that have real potential to explode in the offense. Um, and I like that. I like that, man. You know, it's the modern NFL. You got to have guys. You got to have pass catchers that make the defense worried about um, what you got going on. So uh, with the Ravens and Todd Munkin and stepping into a new um I guess a new era of the offense, you know what I mean? You know, Greg Roman's era is over with. This Todd Munkin era, I think, will still heavily incorporate the run game, but the passing game will be a prominent feature. It won't It won't feel like an afterthought. It won't feel like something that um, just happened because you got to pass the ball eventually, right? Um, so I'm excited to see how that goes. I'm excited to see how um, the Ravens continue to add to this wide receiver room uh, because, because, man, if the Ravens get the wide receiver position exactly right, 
that was really the main weakness on this team. They still got stuff to do at cornerback, but I like some of the young guys they got at cornerback. I like Pepe Williams. I like Jalen Armour Davis. I think he did. I think Jalen Armour Davis just needs some time to actually get on the field. But Pepe Williams, from what I saw last season, I liked what I saw. You know what I'm saying? So if the Ravens can maybe add like a Rocky Sin or somebody like that in free agency, I think the I think the cornerback room is okay. I think it's okay. Um, so yeah, man, that's my thoughts on it. Let me know what you guys think. Do you think the Ravens are going to add a wide receiver? Or do you think the wide receiver room is built? And if you do think they are going to add a wide receiver, is it going to be draft, free agency, or trade? Uh, let me know your thoughts in the comments. But I'm going to get out of here, man. It's Gabriel. This is on the Fan TV. I'm out.